Um, good day, guys. Um, I'm just showing you an overrun of my car today. Um, this is a 2003 Ford BA Falcon. It's a standard XT model, not an XR Futura fan model or anything like that. Um, I bought this car in 2008 for $9,100. It had 1000 Ks on the clock, and now, as you see on the video, it has 196 Ks on the clock. First of all, I want to go over on with the features. Um, it's got um, um, front power windows, cruise control, which some XTs, uh, XTs won't have, but mine came with it. Um, four speed automatic with, with triptronic. Thank God I got my brake on. <sighs> that was scary. Um, CD player, CD player, air conditioning. I had an input for my iPod, a auxiliary input for my iPod. Um, there was Bluetooth car hands free. It came with a cradle, but I removed that out. Um, drill airbags, ABS, power minute mirrors, of course. Trip control is basically, um, if I go in, basically tell you how much leads are you doing per 100k as you're going. How much have I got left till I'm out of the tank? How long have I been driving? How, what is the average speed while I'm doing? What is the average fuel economy while I'm doing? And yep. I've also got this car right here, if you see here, this is a dual fuel BA Falcon. Um, I got the dual fuel installed in 2009 because petrol was costing me an arm and a leg. Cost three thousand five hundred dollars for the conversion. It's an ejector system, so it starts on petrol and and after it warms up, it goes on gas. It's been a pretty good system. I haven't had any problems with it. Um, just um, basically, um, just as normal people will have with gas, just sometimes stalls. Means when I want to change gears, like from drive to reverse, um, which is basically normal for gas, but that normally happens when I'm usually almost empty. I'll show you outside the car. As you see, it's a nice, nice mint colour. Um, I've tinted the windows, as you see here. Um, legal as dark as I could get in here, but it makes the car really stand out. I've also installed, uh, put on Futura rims. The reason why I've got these rims is because I was looking for some wheels because I real, the wheels covers were starting to crack and deteriorate and I found like, I didn't have the much money to spend on big wing wheels so I just found some 16 inch for Futura um, which set me back 350, 350 and and yeah that make the car really stand out fantastic um, let's see let's see here um, well let me go back into the car um, no mechanical problems, which has been fantastic. Usual replacing the disc pads, um, um, tyres and all that, like every other car. Um, the most worst thing I could imagine was when this whole thing died at 175,000. Like, it was, like, I don't know what, what could have killed it, but I, from, but my prediction was because I had an ambi per her um, air freshener plugged into my fan vent up, right up there and that one way or another that could have leaked into the fan vent and yeah that could have killed the circuit board it started like it didn't die immediately it just started to go on and off and on and off and that sets me back to less than 300 bucks which was fantastic because Ford's wanted me to pay four grand what else um just the um just that um, that part, I forgot what it's called, um, that failed on the car, on the passenger side, the front passenger side, which was 100 bucks to repair. Um, another electrical problem which I had was, was maybe a year after owning this car, like, uh, this was actually my fault because I was so hard on the indicators, was during night time I had my headlights on. It was, it was, all the lights will stay on, but as soon as I hit left, all the lights will turn off and will not 
go back on unless I turn turn the left indicator on. But right, I had no problems. Turns out it was a faulty wire. Cost hundred bucks to fix that. Um, they say some some old electricians say, oh, you need a new stock, four hundred dollars. But if you get one, just go to another one and find one that will actually look into the wires and just determine if it's alive. For because it will cost you a quarter of less than replacing the whole thing. What other problems? Um, I've had to pl replace the uh, bearings on it, which is wear and tear. Um, um, and the um, and this was cracked. Like this is a common of the BAs. Like all oh, this was cracked, which I've replaced with another one for forty bucks off eBay. It's nothing mechanical. As long as it just looks better, and I liked it. But other than that, it's been a reliable car. And I've enjoyed owning it. I've done um, 59,000 Ks in it, and yeah, it's been reliable. But I also want to go through with the stereo. Basically, you got your CD player, My life be like. CD player, radio. You, you can set up 12 FM radio, FM radio presets, and 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 six AM presets. Pressing AM again if you got the auxiliary input will take you to the auxiliary mode which will be able to plug your iPod or your phone or whatever. And it plays and doesn't sound too bad the speakers actually. Even though, even though these are stock. I'll be replacing the speakers soon hopefully with, with six six point five inch splits and five point seven inch back five point seven inch speakers at the back because the speakers all around are five point seven inch. Which is a, which is very hard to find sizes. I already got the speakers for the front, which I haven't had time to install yet. But I'm going to have to get speakers for the back, which I'm hopefully going to get soon, in within the next month or two. Um, what else? Just basically, if you were looking for a reliable car that doesn't cost much to run and that's pretty good on field once you carry on to L LPG, then. By all means, get the BA. I really enjoy driving it. It's very quick. I forgot to mention that it gets up to zero to hundred in around seven point five seconds, which I've timed. I haven't got a re recording of it because I didn't have my video camera. But yeah, hope you enjoyed this video and hope you have a better understanding.